There, there is a Kenyan professional golfer who is just from uh, playing a round of golf and preparing for the Kenya Open. A professional golfer, a top golfer uh, who plays for Royal Golf Club, who will represent Kenya amongst the 18 players to, uh, to fly the Kenyan flag during that Open. Eric Ooko. Today, of course, he's representing uh, Tony Omuli. Tony Omuli was supposed to be here as well, but he has, uh, he's supposed to talk to some sponsors and get himself ready. So, Tony Omuli, don't worry. Eric Ooko, I can house. Eric, uh, how, is, how is Karen? country club you've played there today how do you feel do you feel you enjoyed your round of golf yeah Karen Karen is good now mm -hmm. it's in a very good condition mm -hmm. yeah I've been playing there for, for the last one week so the course is okay so it's, it's in a good condition and how is the morale how is the morale on the ground for you uh, in, in relations to how the support of the private companies have come through for you guys because I was speaking to the PGK uh, captain Wangai Mesema Mukosawa yeah, this year we are very much okay. We are okay because the kind of the preparation that we have been having is very good. We had a lot of tournaments before the Kenya Open. So we are okay. We can't complain. The government has been supporting us a lot and we really appreciate for the support that we get from the government. You participated, as you've mentioned, you participated in many tournaments, the qualifiers just uh, yes. before the Kenya Open. How are they, uh, were they up to the standards that, of course, are leading us into the Kenya Open, the, Kenya, the magical Open, I can say, Kenya Open? Yes. Uh, what I can say is that uh, we have very good players in this country. Mm -hmm. And we have people who have a very good talent. Mm -hmm. They are very talented. Like, we have some very good players. Greg, you know, this, this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have CJ Wangai, David Wak, who is there. Myself. So we have a lot of good players in this country, so we have a very tough competition this year. And even me, I'll be honest with you, that I was not even among the top eight who made the first qualify to the Kenya Open. Mm -hmm. So where I, I went and made my cut is we had three sports at Karen. That is where I went and fought very hard to make it to the Kenya Open. Mm -hmm. So the reason why it was like that is because I've been struggling a bit, but I made it at, at the last minute. Uh, tell us about who is Eric Oko? You know, as in... Golf is normally associated with uh, the elite. Uh, and however, nowadays, golf is not just for, it, for the elite. E everybody and anybody can play it. That's why you need fans to come and uh, cheer you during the Kenya Open. Who is Eric? Where did you start your golf? How did you start it? Uh, did you have any struggles when someone is starting? What should they need to know until where you are right now? That's a very good uh, question. Mm -hmm. I start off as a caddy. I used to caddy at a golf park. A caddy is someone who carries the bag exactly. for a golfer. Yes. Yeah, for yes. That's, there, that's where I started from, at golf park. So I, I started golf in uh, 2009 as a caddy. So I caddied for, I think, three years. Then uh, I decided now to start playing the GOAT events, which is uh, Kaiju. Yes. Then I was playing very well. Then that is when I realized that uh, this game can take me to places. Yes. Yeah. So as uh, progressing, I managed to, uh, to bring my handicap down to three. Yes. Then I went down to two, one. Then when I, went, uh, when I reached uh, handicap zero, that's when I realized that uh, actually if I continue, I can become a professional golfer of this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was being taken by Royal Naribu Golf Club in 2012. Yes. Then they gave me the honorary membership whereby uh, right now I'm still a member at Royal Rugby Golf Club. So they used to sponsor me going to the GOAT events. Then I was there for 2012, 2013, 2014, I represent Kenya in Cape Town. Yes. Uh, I was in the Kenya team, where we went to play uh, Son Sik. Yes. It was a very tough competition. But I managed to win all my games. Yeah, yeah. Then immediately after I come back from Cape Town, I just decided to turn a professional golfer. So that is when I turned a professional golfer, and I won the first tournament as a, pro, as a professional golfer at uh, Eldred. It was sponsored by Nation Media Group. Mm, yes. Then, as I go along, I've been, uh, I've been going uh, around the world. Playing golf. Yes, just playing golf. Golf pays. Yeah. This is a, a, a Eric Oko story. And Eric, there are some people, of course, in your life, people, individuals, companies, uh, golf clubs, perhaps you need to mention who have been behind you, they have supported you, they have ensured that your golf clubs are up to point, they have ensured you play. Who are these people? Who are these companies? In a far were mentioned, was Kiepoa. Yes, uh, that's a very good one, and I was going there. <laughs> uh, the first thing is to thank Royal Arabic Golf Club for giving me the opportunity to, to, to be there as part of them, uh, because they giving um, honorary membership, you know, is not an uh, easy thing. So uh, to get the access from the golf course, was the most important thing to me. And uh, I have a few individual sponsors who have been uh, supporting me a lot. 
I've been uh, being supported by one of the good member, my friend John Odiambo, yes. who used to work with Standard Chartered Bank. Yes. And there's also Robert Kiter. Mm -hmm. There's uh, my very good friend called Samoris Njue, who is a member at Royal Norwegian Golf Club. Yes. And we have some other supporters who have been behind me for my progress. So I really appreciate for all they've done for me up to where I am right now. Certainly. Yes. Eric Oko. You are ready. What are you going to tell the fans? What one was for, you know this show is international. Huh? It's watching Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Kigali, Bujumbura, and Japan, as I've told you, internationally. What are you going to tell the fans? Because they will be coming. This is a tourism, a tourist tourism kind of event. Utambia ni ma fans. All I can say is that uh, we, I would like to welcome them all to current country club. They just need to come and support us for whatever we're going to do in current. And uh, I can promise you that this year, uh, myself, I'm going for the win. I want to be the first Kenya to yes. win the major comp 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 competition in this country. Very true. And I know that uh, uh, this is the year that uh, I'm going to win. Jaco Bokelo of Golf Park one time was up there. A former mm -hmm. caddy at Golf Park, Eric Oko, is headed there. History is about to be made. Thank you very much, Eric Oko. A Kenyan professional golfer. Kenya's top golfers going to be magicians during the magical open at the current country club from the 14th to the 17th of this month. If you have nothing to do, let me say, golf is just the best place. In fact, there'll be everything there. There'll be, the, the, you see, when you're going out, Ukienda place unataka event, ikona kila kitu. It's an event, an all-inclusive event for children, for you, for a man, for a lady, as in you cannot miss this particular event at the Karen Country Club. Hey, Karen Country Club, ni mapigia debe. Hey, this, this of course, is K24 Sports Hub. This week, we are dedicated the entire week to golf. And we appreciate uh, what Karen Cantor has done. And thank you very much, Eric Oko. Thank you, Royal uh, Golf Club, for taking up uh, Eric Oko. Royal, I've played that uh, golf course, is great and has great people and great members. Thank you very much for doing that. We appreciate you.